My name is Carol Griffin. Um, I am very pleased to have Cecilia Martinez with us today. She is our one and only nurse that keeps things going out at a DIF unit that's currently located in Juarez. This is our eighth year of a tournament that I started, pretty much based on when I moved down here 11 years ago. Uh, we had had experience with a tournament in the States called Race for a Cure. But the money went back to the States the first couple of years. So we started that eight years ago. This is our eighth annual Rally for a Cure. And I am proud to say that we have made a difference here in Mazablan. In fact, I live here full time, I'm Mazalakan. Well, I've been coming to Mazatlan for about 20 years and um, I love it so much that it is my full-time residence in Mazatlan as of two years ago. I, um, I love the people. I live here all year round and uh, uh, I, I have uh, no uh, wrong impression about how to live here. It's very safe for me. I just started playing golf. I don't know for sure yet if I love that or not, but we'll see. The tournament was an incredible fun. We had a wonderful, we played 13 holes, and it was just uh, a fun team, and we had to buy uh, beforehand mulligans so that we could have a free shot again and a kick. We could kick the ball in the hole, and that was a lot of fun. My mother died of breast cancer, so I want, I, I want people to get mammograms and, and help the people here to know that that is something that you have to do. So if you catch it early, it's uh, by getting a mammogram, you, you will lengthen your life. We're very, very pleased about this. It makes us all feel really good. And um, like I said, this is going to be the, the biggest year ever. We were very fortunate this year as well. Some of our local artists, 17 of them actually, donated paintings for a silent auction. So they're all set up and we don't know how the bids are gonna go, but they look like it's, it's going very, very well. I am the nurse that I've received the support from the Ladies Golf Facility Association. We're happy to continue to support in any way that we can. We have over the last uh, five years now tested a little over 10 or 20,000 20, women. We have a very low uh, hit rate, thank goodness, but those that can't afford a very 100 peso mammogram, we'll support that. We will support the women if they need to go to Guadalajara or uh, Culiacan for further treatment. And, uh, the funds that we raise from these events all stay here now. And we really do feel like we're creating awareness about prevention of breast cancer, right? Yes. And uh, that gives us a wonderful feeling. That's why you'll see pink ribbons around all over town because merchants support us too in this effort. We are so grateful for this. I hope that the uh, cure will be for for cancer will be a success and i'm sure it will be thank you thank you thank you <laughs>